I'm Darren Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. Something massive entered our solar system on January 1, 2025. The object came from somewhere else entirely, not from our Sun's gravitational neighborhood, but from the vast emptiness between stars. Astronomers gave it a clinical designation – 3i Atlas, the I standing for interstellar. Only two other objects have ever earned that designation in all of human history. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Laser Alert System Telescope in Chile spotted it first. This wasn't supposed to happen. Space is incomprehensibly vast, and the odds of catching an interstellar object passing through our cosmic backyard are, pardon the pun, astronomical. Yet, here was number three, and it was moving faster than anything scientists had ever tracked entering our solar system. Richard Luscombe, reporting for The Guardian, noted how NASA immediately began studying the object through ground and space telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope's measurements revealed something striking. This thing spans up to 3.5 miles wide, though Sarah Webb at SciTech Daily mentions some estimates suggest it could be as large as 20 kilometers. The size discrepancy itself tells you how difficult this object is to pin down. The speed defies comprehension. At 130,000 miles per hour, or about 87 kilometers per second, relative to the Sun, 3i Atlas covers the distance between Earth and the Moon in less than 80 minutes, about the average length of a movie. Every hour it travels, gravitational tugs from the Sun, Jupiter, and Mars adjust its path by micrometers per second. Those tiny changes become enormous across tens of millions of kilometers. Spectroscopy from Gemini South Telescope in Chile detected something that shouldn't exist. The uncovered X YouTube channel reported that instead of random venting of sublimated ices, 3i Atlas's tail emits gas in clock-like pulses once every 17 minutes. The rhythm hasn't varied, not by a second. Over days of observation, these pulses produce micro-accelerations in the exact direction needed to align with Mars' orbital plane. Comets don't do this. When sunlight hits fresh ice patches on a normal comet, jets erupt chaotically. The venting is messy, unpredictable. 3i Atlas pulses like a metronome. The pulses resemble attitude thrusters on a spacecraft more than any natural phenomenon astronomers have documented. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter confirmed the object's coma, its hazy halo, has doubled in brightness since August. Strange high-energy spikes appear in the ultraviolet spectrum. The CO2 outgassing rate exceeds anything seen in solar system comets. Instead of stabilizing as it approaches the Sun, the way comets should, 3i Atlas keeps accelerating, adjusting, course-correcting through those deliberate gas releases. Avi Loeb runs Harvard University's Galileo Project, which searches for evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. He posted a paper to the ARXIV preprint server with a title that made astronomers uncomfortable. Is the interstellar object 3i Atlas alien technology? Loeb pointed out that observations haven't revealed the gaseous tails of dust and plasma common to comets from our solar system. The trajectory follows an unorthodox path that brings it improbably close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. He suggested the object could be a technological artifact displaying active intelligence. In his analysis, Loeb raised an unsettling possibility. The object might perform a clandestine, deep space maneuver while hidden behind the Sun this coming October, then set course for Earth with what he called malign intent. He wrote that the consequences could potentially be dire for humanity and defensive measures might prove futile. Tom Stadler, NASA's lead scientist for solar system small bodies, dismissed these concerns. He insisted the object does look like a comet, does comet things, and strongly resembles comets that we do know. He acknowledged it as interesting properties, slightly different from solar system comets, but maintained the evidence overwhelmingly points to a natural body. Initial calculations suggested 3i Atlas would harmlessly skim past Mars. Those calculations, however, have changed recently. The new trajectory analysis puts the closest approach to Mars at just 1.95 million kilometers on September 26, 2025. For planetary astronomers, that distance counts as a near miss. 
Mars gravity can exert measurable influence on the object at that range. A mere 10 kilometers per second of additional velocity could tip the orbit enough to cause a direct collision weeks later. 3i Atlas only needs a fraction of the momentum SpaceX's Starship uses to launch from Earth to change its path from flyby to impact. Those momentum changes are happening right now, hidden in its tail. The pattern suggests by September 19th, the comet will have imparted enough lateral thrust to close the remaining distance to under 50,000 kilometers, closer than some of Mars' moons. One major outburst could then push it into a collision trajectory. At its current estimated mass of 10 billion tons of heavily irradiated ice and dust, with a possible metallic core 400 meters across, a direct hit on Mars would release energy equivalent to 2 million megatons of TNT. The resulting crater could stretch 60 kilometers wide and 50 kilometers deep. Debris would launch into Mars' orbit and potentially inject material into interplanetary space. Mars hosts dozens of active and planned spacecraft from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to the Perseverance rover. An impact wouldn't just scar the planet, it would destroy decades of scientific equipment. Communications relays, climate monitoring stations, and life search missions could vanish overnight. Some models show fragments from such an impact reaching Earth's vicinity within a decade. The possibility of engineered microbes of self-replicating nanotechnology traveling on those fragments has entered serious scientific discussion, though it remains highly speculative. Leaked memos suggest NASA mission planners are using the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter as forward radar to image and track 3i Atlas's inbound vector. High-gain antennas at Goldstone have been repurposed to bounce radar off the comet's core. One insider described the radar returns as unlike any echo ever recorded. Instead of soft ice signatures, the returns show hard, metallic reflections. If accurate, 3i Atlas's core might contain alloys impossible to form naturally in deep space, suggesting an artificial interior surrounded by sacrificial ice. Loeb and his student, Adam Hibbard, calculated that with each pulse of gas, the object isn't losing mass randomly but steering itself, sailing on its own sublimated exhaust. This would allow trajectory adjustments as it enters our planetary neighborhood similar to how spacecraft use reaction control thrusters. Amateur astronomers worldwide have been asked to submit every image of 3i Atlas they can capture. Some images show the tail splitting into three needle-like streams that glow green, or like gradients pulse at the same 17-minute rhythm as the gas outbursts. At high exposure, the green beams appear to converge toward Mars. Critics argue no natural comet can change its path by 10 kilometers per second using sublimation alone. That would require more than 10 billion joules of focused energy, far exceeding any comet outburst ever observed. Yet the trajectory data implies exactly this type of maneuver. The energy gap remains unexplained by conventional comet physics. The European Space Agency's Mars Express photographed three small glinting objects in high orbit over Mars. Arranged in a triangle formation, they were initially dismissed as cosmic rays. They appeared in the same positions on three consecutive orbits. Loeb urged NASA to cross-reference these glints with archival Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter data to check for matching metallic fragments already on the surface. If found, it would represent the first evidence of interstellar technology ever recorded. September 26, 2025 marks 3i Atlas's crossing Mars' orbital path. September 19th through the 30th represents the critical window for final course corrections via gas pulses. During this period, the comet's speed relative to Mars will reach about 57 kilometers per second. At that velocity, even a glancing strike could vaporize cubic kilometers of the red planet. The European Space Agency, Roscosmos, China's CNSA, and Japan's JAXA have quietly convened emergency task forces. Insiders speak of planetary defense protocols. Scientists are openly discussing whether humanity should attempt to intercept or destroy an interstellar object before it reaches another planet, something never seriously considered before. NASA maintains the object poses no threat to Earth keeping it at least 170 million miles away due to planetary positions over the coming months. 
it'll make close passes with Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. Statler emphasized that all comets exhibit anomalies. Mixtures of dust and ice respond unpredictably to solar heating. Comets in our solar system have histories of suddenly brightening when particular pockets of ice sublimate quickly and drive off large amounts of dust. The object's ancient age adds another layer of mystery. Scientists believe it may predate our Sun, having formed since time began in another star system entirely. We're seeing a piece of what would become a planet somewhere else, now wandering through our neighborhood at record-breaking speeds. Loeb himself acknowledged that the simplest hypothesis remains that 3i Atlas is a comet. He raised alternative possibilities as an exercise in challenging preconceived ideas, maintaining childhood curiosity rather than pretending to know answers in advance. By mid-September, every major observatory from Hubble to the James Webb Space Telescope will point at 3i Atlas. If the pulses continue, if it crosses that last sliver of orbital gap, Mars may witness an impact unlike anything since bombardments from time immemorial. The silence from official channels grows more noticeable each day. NASA issues routine updates. ESA posts standard images. They understand that if 3i Atlas does collide with Mars, the implications would fundamentally alter our understanding of our place in this universe. If you'd like to read this story for yourself, you can read it on the Weird Darkness website. I've placed a link to it in the episode description, and you can find more stories of the paranormal, true crime, strange, and more at WeirdDarkness.com news.